Hello, my darlings. My name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. Aquarius, I'm going to do the first of your 2022 readings this afternoon for you. I'm using my new moon, new moonology manifestation cards for you. And we're just going to split this reading into four different parts. We're going to be using the new moon cards, then the uh, first quarter, then the full moon, then the last quarter. And for each card I'm pulling, I'm going to pull one of my spirit song tarot to go with it. So before I move ahead uh, with your reading, just to say, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and New Year. Thank you to all of you for your lovely messages and your uh, gorgeous messages of of support as well that I've also had when I wasn't feeling particularly well at the end of last year. Uh, and this Sunday is, I'm going back to doing my lives again. So this is Sunday night, 9 p.m. GMT time. So do check your time slots. This is an evening with spirit, your questions answered. And in this read, in this sort of time, I'm going to pull a short general reading for those watching and those that spirit intends to watch at a later date. And then I'm going to answer as many questions, pull as many cards as possible within that hour for those that are watching and wishing to put a question in the comments. So let's move ahead with your reading my darlings this is for Aquarius if it resonates it simply means that you are remembering what you already know within your soul I'm simply a messenger and if it's the right time for you you are remembering those messages if it messages if it resonates if it doesn't resonate my darling it simply means it wasn't for you at this time there'll always be a message out there for you at exactly the right time as guided by spirit so already uh you've got uh, more than one card has come out so let's just pull out one card thank you spirit just the one card there we go so you've got the new moon in Aquarius. There we are. Open up to change. So change is an extraordinary thing because within part of us, let me just show you this card again. Within part of us, we, we're almost conditioned to fear change, especially if we feel that we may be content with where we are right now. And also we fear change because it's the unknown. And in the unknown, there could be dangers. In the unknown, things could happen that we don't wish to happen. But what spirit is wanting to do is open up to the openness of change, open up to the possibility that what you don't know has limitless possibilities. When we are very fixated on a certain path, we're kind of limiting those, those opportunities, those possibilities that we have been given by the universe. So when you open up and you embrace change, because change is that beautiful universe process, it's the beautiful Godding process, it's the gift of divinity to us to take us from where we are to where we are the next stage of our life, the next greatest grand dispersion of who we are. Um, and so embrace this change, because when you embrace change, you're embracing all of the opportunities and possibilities that could be coming your way and that are coming your way. You have here this wonderful spring blossom here. This is the blossoming of what it is that you're looking to manifest, my darling. And it's a very positive outlook for you. But in order for that manifestation to come in to you as quickly as you wish for it to happen, embrace the change that's happening within your life at this time. Open up to change. Don't be so fixated on one particular course of action or one particular outcome. Because when we cling on to one particular outcome, what we're doing in that moment of clinging on is energetically saying, I don't have it, so I feel a lack of it. And the universe responds with more of that lack. Uh, and so just embrace, open up to whatever change is happening for you at this time. So let's have a look now at and go with the flow, my darling. It's a bit of an amble at the moment. It's maybe not as fast as you may wish for it to be. So let's just see what's popped out for you. Beautiful. Two of acorns, insight and focus. This is the falcon and the falcon can seize opportunities from high up. So two of wands is about you've already made this decision. You've already set your intention. You've already put out your manifestation. We do it consciously and subconsciously all the time. And I really feel you've done this consciously. This is what you're wishing for, hoping for potentially knowing what's coming in for you. So you've set your intention and now spirit is saying where attention goes, energy flows. So focus your intention in terms of being open to whatever is coming in for you. And this falcon, my darling, can seize opportunities from high up. This is like your higher self, seeing the opportunities that are coming in because you're recognizing that this is you being open to change. And the falcon can also change direction at a moment's notice. So be prepared also 
to embrace all op opportunities, possibilities, and be willing and open to change, to change direction as well. Um, remain focused, again, uh, where attention goes, energy flows. This is ones, this talks about your energy and your focus and your passions. Remain focused on the big picture, like the falcon looking up and dying and, and, and looking up before it dives down. Um, and uh, that's a fantastic start for the reading for you. So now let's move on to the first quarter moon. So this, this is the challenges uh, that, just pull up all the cards here. This is the sort of the obstacles that could arise or have arisen, arisen and the challenges that you feel or may feel that you may, my goodness me, they all popped out. You may feel uh, you are facing or will be facing. Thank you, Spirit. Just one card, my darlings. One card. There we go. Step into your power. First quarter moon in Aries. Step into your power. You know what your power is? Your power is your belief and trust in the fact that you are a master manifester. You are a unique individual piece of the universe the omniverse you have the power to cause and create consciously or subconsciously so now step into your power by by causing creating manifesting consciously and the way to do that is continue to have faith to have faith and trust that all will unfold exactly as it's meant to that the universe has already answered your question with a yes and it always happens in divine timing not in our timing in divine timing and the universe is weaving together you as the universe your soul is causing creating weaving together this path this life path this manifestation sometimes we do it individually as a soul but for most part we do it in collaboration with other souls and that's where stepping into your power the empowerment is to let go let go of this release it release the expectation of when and how and who all of that just simply focus on why you want this and how it makes you feel and trust that it's already done as above down below it's been taken care of and it will come in if you allow yourself to let go let go of um the the feeling that you don't have it because when you're letting go of that feeling of lack and you're stepping into the present moment you are willing it to happen pulling it towards you beautiful step into your power be flexible be open about this and 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 observe like the falcon have that sharp sighted observance on what is happening on your life and if everything's happening for you my darling what is happening look at it that way this is happening for me even though it might be making me feel a bit uncomfortable this is happening for me this is part of what what i'm causing and creating now start to stand back and observe start to look at things like the falcon from your higher self thank you spirit more information on step into your power thank you the magician my darlings the magician this is you the master manifester this is the keeper of secrets this is the crow this is things that you're going through that may be uncomfortable are allowing you to come into the sense of who you are, allowing you to come into to becoming at home with yourself. The most important connection you're ever going to have in your life is the connection you have with yourself, with your with your mind, with your body, with source energy, with your soul. And once you that connection is so strong, everything else falls into place for you. This is going to allow you to unleash that full potential and power by trusting that you are causing and creating all of this. All of this. So which way do you want to go, Dunning? Do you want to go this way? Do you want to change direction? Is there something that you've never thought you could do that you wish to do? Now's the time. Now's the time. And I'm getting the word blind faith because it's almost like you're not choosing to see what's in front of you as the reality. You're choosing to have that blind faith that whatever it is that's coming in for you, it may not be there yet in your reality, but it's happened already. Beautiful, beautiful reading, my darlings. Okay, so which is the next one? Full moon and Gem full can't speak full moon and Gemini. So this is a kind of emotional experience of all of this for you. Thank you, Spirit. Um, and sort of the pinnacle of the situation, how to handle it. Embrace the flow of life. Gorgeous cards for you, my darling. Gorgeous cards. Embrace the flow of life. Embrace let go go with the flow the more you let go and hand this over to the universe the more you see the universe's hand in this give the universe a chance it's your friend it has your back it's saying yes to you but, <laughs> sorry about one just one moment sorry 
there's another little doggy next door Lord. sometimes they bark so when we embrace the flow of life and we go with the flow we're allowing things to happen at the natural pace and what we're not doing is stepping in the way of it we're not trying to shift it or change it and in doing that it's like um imagine the flow of life like the wheel of fortune is going around and round and if we get kind of start intervening where we shouldn't we can get spoke stuck in the wheel and that stops the wheel from turning so whenever you find yourself trying to make something happen and you know you can feel that pull of energy that you're pulling on that situation that person step back embrace the flow instead let things happen let things come to you there's a there's my three r's release relax receive Write it on some sticky notes, put it on your mirror, release, relax, receive. That is the most powerful thing you can do for yourself because you're taking yourself out of a place of worry, anxiety, fear. It's about accepting that you're exactly where you're meant to be in this present moment. You are embracing the flow. You're embracing the change. You're grateful for it all, even if it makes you uncomfortable and you are going with the flow. And there's a very beautiful thing about doing that because you're handing it over. And you can get on and enjoy your life on a day-to-day, present-by-present moment. So beautiful card. Let's see what comes out for this one. Thank you, Spirit, for embracing the flow of life for Aquarius. Thank you. Queen of Crystals, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. I can't speak today. Comfort and prosperity. This is the hedgehog. Um, this the Queen of Pentacles is extraordinary. It talks about the fact that you've come so far, you've been on an extraordinary journey and you're coming to get, you're coming home to yourself and you're coming home to, it's like the comforts of home, but you're also coming to a place of having gone through so much and coming into a place of grounding, making the decisions that are right for you, taking decisions, seeing the opportunity of the decisions, but taking your time in a non-rushed way to make those decisions in the right way so i was just moving my my desk there you're very committed to your values you're very committed to your beliefs you can be a little bit prickly at times and sometimes you don't like to be hugged or have people too close or to touch you and and that's okay that's part of of your releasing that you're you're going through at the moment but you're very caring and you have a very protective nature so just know that whatever you're doing with embracing this flow of life keep yourself grounded keep nurturing yourself it's very important you think is this for my self-love am i doing this because i'm doing this from a renewed approach whenever you're making decision am i doing this for me am i doing it because it's an old pattern of behavior an old condition pattern behavior am i doing it because it's a trigger am, am i reacting to something because it's a trigger that i've always been triggered to so just Take that deep breath, that pause as the Queen of Pentacles. You are enough as you are, my darling. You are amazing as you are. You are exactly where you're meant to be on your soul's life path. Exactly. There is nothing that shouldn't have happened differently. Everything that's happened has brought you to where you are today. Everything that you have released, everything that you have learned, everything you've evolved, everything you've grown with has been because everything has been given to you to allow you to be the person you are today. And everything that is gonna be changing for you now. And that's why spirit is saying embrace it, is to to allow you to evolve for the next amazing things that are gonna be happening in your life, the next greatest, grandest version of you. And now we're going to look at uh, the last quarter for you. What a lovely reading Aquarius to start the new year with. Thank you for Aquarius. The last quarter cards, please. flew out there's too many that comes out again it was leave the past behind so thank you spirit let's just see what comes out again for you just one oh they're like that one that one (laughs) too many cards again one card please spirit thank you one card Yeah, there's our one card. Clear your mind. Okay. Clear your mind, my darling. Clear your mind. Beautiful card here. So less thinking, 
less thinking about this, less worrying about this, less pondering on this. Remember the three rules of creation, the three tools of creation, what you think, say and do now, you're placing in your future. We are energy. We have a vibration. So when we're thinking something, we're vibrating that energetic feeling out and it comes back to us. Same with what we say. Words are very powerful. And of course, what we do. So clear your mind. When we have a very cluttered mind, it's very difficult sometimes for spirit to talk to us uh, because it's a little bit like having a, a, a brass band going off the whole time and you can't hear the flute quietly in the background. So if you are not meditating or spending time being still, spirit is urging you to do that but it's because it's going to allow that clarity and that insight to come through to you. It's going to allow your soul to speak to you. You know those moments when you have a receiving thought, when you have something that is an aha moment where you understand and just know that's what spirit is asking you to connect and to keep connecting to that. You are not your thoughts. You're not your thoughts. You are observing this yourself having those thoughts. So what is the stillness that's observing that? That's your soul. That's divine source energy. So it's about sitting in that space. You don't need to try to do this. You do it naturally already. It's already there within you. Just sit, just be still, listen to some music if you want to, and just say to yourself, I'm going to sit here for 20 minutes, 20 minutes. And you can focus on your breathing, or as I said, you can listen to music. And in that first 10 minutes, you'll want to be moving. Your body will want to move. You'll get an itch, you'll get a scratch, all of those things, just don't move. And what will happen is your body will actually go into sleep mode, but you, you will then be very aware consciously within a very beautiful stillness place that you're not quite of this world. You're just somewhere else. And you'll know what I mean if you're doing this already. So that is about clearing your mind and just simply saying thank you for whatever it is I meant to receive in this present given moment. Thank you. I'm open and willing to receive. Do that every day and you will find things will shift and change dramatically for you. Clear your mind, clear also your energy space around you. If there is clutter around you, again, it's an extension of your energy. So do some decluttering at this time. Thank you, Spirit. And the last card, thank you. although I might pour in for another card, the five of acorns. You see this challenge and growth. So this, this is clear your mind. This is, this is all that noise, all that roaring, all that stuff in your head that could be so negative. If you catch yourself thinking negatively about the situation, don't try and just catch yourself doing it and flip your attention to something else. Remember where attention goes, energy flows. You don't want to be talking or thinking about what you don't want to happen because you're giving it attention. And then that energy goes to it. More and more of that happens. So that's your challenge, okay? This is this challenge for you to grow within this space of empowerment where you are consciously putting your attention in a positive mindset. So, um, and with this five of, uh, five of ones as well, it's about not uh, trying not to surround yourself also with negativity. It's okay to say no to the friend or the person that might call you up and have a moan a lot. It's okay to say no, you don't have to do it. It's very important for you right now, this challenge and this growth for you is to learn to protect your energy, guard it, cherish it, protect it. It's your most important thing. We are simply energy. And you are a problem solver, my darling, but to shift into that empowered state, shift into your own power, pursue whatever it is, and I'm pursue maybe is the wrong word, thank you spirit, be focused on the goals that, that, that ignite something within you, that creative expression of yours, because that creative expression is your soul speaking to you, your creative expression is an individual representation of your soul's physical experience, every time you're doing something that you love to do, that is your soul representing itself in that present given moment. Here I am, here I am, here I am. And it's a beautiful energy. It's a beautiful energy for causing, creating and manifestation. Fight 
for your beliefs, but do it in a way where you stand strong in a space where you don't have to explain yourself. You and only you have a direct perception of your life. You don't have to defend yourself. You don't have to do anything, but just stand in that space of saying, no, this is what I know is good and right for me. Um, and ask the right questions of yourself as well. In this five of one space, ask the right questions. Is this what I truly want? Is this something that is the old me still asking for something? Because I did see that leave the past behind. Is that, have I come so far that it's actually just a habit that I still want that in my past? Ask yourself the right questions. You have to go with the feeling behind the feeling behind the feeling because the universe is responding to that feeling behind the feeling behind the feeling. Not so much about what you think you want, but it's about what you're feeling behind that thinking of what you want. I hope that makes sense for you. And now I'm seeing the Eight of Cups. There is something that has been a walking away from whether you have done it, something's happened to you, somebody else has done it, but it's because of your soul's quest. This was something that you put your hand up to come down here and have a soul's experience to say, this is what is going to happen. And, and it's your soul's quest because it's for renewal. And it's not for a, and the starfish represents for me the star card as well. So it's a deeply uh, transformative healing process. Um, and, it's, and it's the renewal because you're not reacting. You're not repeating cycles. You're not reacting to things. React, look at that word, reacting. You're renewing. You're going into a different shift, a different optimism as well. This is, um, so just go with this flow and be confident and trust with this, with this eight of cups that you already knew what's right for you and, not, and what's not right for you. Um, and take the time. It comes back to take, taking the time. The starfish moves very slowly and rests on those boulders. And those boulders can represent problems. But the starfish, starfish sees it as a place to rest and renewal. And there's always solutions to every single problem. That was a little extra card for you. I'm just going to pull, I feel like pulling my white sage uh, tarot for you. Uh, thank you, Spirit. One last card, please, for Aquarius. Thank you. I just keep getting that. Please try and remove yourself from not just your own, catching yourself with your own negative uh, thought processes which are habitual about things and yourself and others and it's just like it's a repetitive pattern of things you're a warrior but you're also a problem solver but you are a warrior so spirit is saying try not to worry too much because all of that negative um, focus is is clouding up the kind of energy drive that you're putting behind your manifestation um, and also try and stay away from negative situations or people as well um, Release, relax, receive. And in the relax and the receiving, you are not focusing or talking about. Try and stay away from generally the news and anything that brings you down. It's very important you protect your energy space. I know I'm saying that again, but it's 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 uh, an important one for whoever this reading is resonating with. And look at that. Bang in there, you've got the Ace of Wands. This is the confirmation of where attention goes, energy flows, how powerful that is. That is when you set your focus and your intention on what you are wishing to cause and create from a beautiful creative expression, from something that you know is soul driven and you release all the worries and all the expectations of the how and the when and the who, but you just know it's done, it's done, it's taken care of. That is that divine gift. And you simply focus on how it makes you feel, why you want it and how it makes you feel. And in that moment, you are, it is God's will. Your soul is God's will. You are willing it to happen towards you. Just absolutely lovely. And then they're just saying, let go, that four of pentacles, let go let go and let God in as many moments as you can my darling when you find yourself in that little merry-go-round of thoughts just say I'm letting go and letting God thank you thank you for helping me to understand this problem has already been solved for me thank you and you go off and do something else it doesn't have to be more serious than that all right my darlings I hope uh, this has helped those 
that uh, have resonated with the reading, I will be looking to do another reading for you within the next 10 days or two weeks. And for those that are able, I very much look forward to seeing you this Sunday at 9 p.m. for my Evening with Spirit, Your Questions Answered. So much love to you. Take care. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.